13 Home Remedies for Constipation Constipation is an incredibly common problem. In North America alone, chronic constipation affects approximately 63 million people. Worldwide, approximately 12% of people suffer from self-defined constipation. People in the Americas and the Asian Pacific suffer twice as much as their European counterparts. It can be caused by foods you eat or avoid, lifestyle choices, medication or disease. But for many people, the cause of their chronic constipation is often unknown. This is referred to as chronic idiopathic constipation. Constipation is characterized by less than three bowel movements per week. However, it can also involve other unpleasant symptoms, such as discomfort when going to the bathroom, abdominal bloating and pain due to stools being hard, dry and difficult to pass. Unfortunately, constipation can have a serious negative effect on quality of life, as well as your physical and mental health. There are many natural ways to help relieve constipation. You can do these in the comfort of your own home and most of them are even supported by science. Here are 13 natural home remedies to relieve constipation. 1. Drink more water Being dehydrated regularly can make you become constipated. To prevent this, it's important to drink enough water and stay hydrated. When you're constipated, you could try finding relief by drinking some carbonated, sparkling, water to help you rehydrate and get things moving again. Some studies have found sparkling water to be more effective than tap water at relieving constipation. This includes people with chronic idiopathic constipation or irritable bowel syndrome IBS. However, don't start drinking more carbonated drinks like sugary soda, as they're a bad choice for your health and may make your constipation worse. Bottom line, dehydration can make you constipated, so make sure to drink enough water. Sparkling water may be even more effective. 2. Eat more fiber, especially soluble, non-fermentable fiber People who are constipated are often told to increase their fiber intake. This is because increasing fiber intake is thought to increase the bulk and consistency of bowel movements, making them easier to pass. In fact, one recent review found that 77% of people with chronic constipation benefited from supplementing with fiber. However, some studies have found that increasing fiber intake can actually make the problem worse. Other studies have found that while dietary fiber can increase the frequency of bowel movements, it doesn't help with other symptoms of constipation. These include stool consistency, pain, bloating and gas. This is because the type of dietary fiber that you add to your diet is important. There are many different dietary fibers, but in general, they fall into two categories. Insoluble fibers, found in wheat bran, vegetables and whole grains. They add bulk to your stools and are thought to help them pass more quickly and easily through your digestive system. Soluble fibers, found in oat bran, barley, nuts, seeds, beans, lentils and peas, as well as some fruits and vegetables. They absorb water and form a gel-like paste, which softens your stools and improves the consistency. Studies examining the effects of insoluble fiber as treatment for constipation have been inconclusive. This is because insoluble fiber can make the problem worse in some people with a functional bowel problem, such as IBS or chronic idiopathic constipation. Some fermentable soluble fibers may also be ineffective at treating constipation, as they are fermented by bacteria in the gut and lose their water-holding capacity. The best choice for a fiber supplement when constipated is a non-fermentable soluble fiber, such as psyllium. To prevent constipation, you should aim to consume a mix of soluble and insoluble fibers. The total recommended fiber intake per day is 25 grams for women and 38 grams for men. Bottom line, try eating more fiber. You can also supplement your diet with a soluble non-fermentable fiber such as psyllium. 3. Exercise More studies on the effect of exercise on constipation have shown mixed results. In fact, many studies have shown that exercise does not affect the frequency of bowel movements. However, a recent randomized controlled study on constipated people with IBS found some interesting results. It found that exercise significantly reduced symptoms. Other studies have also found similar results for this group of people. 
While many studies have found that exercise does not affect the number of times people go to the bathroom, it seems to reduce some symptoms of constipation. If you are constipated, then try going for regular walks. Bottom line, exercise may reduce the symptoms of constipation in some people, although the evidence is mixed. 4. Drink coffee, especially caffeinated coffee for some people, coffee can increase the urge to go to the bathroom. This is because coffee stimulates the muscles in your digestive system. In fact, one study found that caffeinated coffee can stimulate your gut in the same way that a meal can. This effect is 60% stronger than drinking water and 23% stronger than drinking decaffeinated coffee. Coffee may also contain small amounts of soluble fibers that help prevent constipation by improving the balance of your gut bacteria. Bottom line, coffee can help relieve constipation by stimulating the muscles in the gut. It may also contain small amounts of soluble fiber. 5. Take Cinna, an herbal laxative The herbal laxative Cinna is commonly used to relieve constipation. Cinna contains a number of plant compounds called glycosides, which stimulate the nerves in your gut and speed up your bowel movements. It's usually considered safe for adults to use Cinna for short periods of time, but you should consult with your doctor if your symptoms don't go away after a few days. Cinna is usually not recommended for people who are pregnant, breastfeeding or have certain health conditions, such as inflammatory bowel disease. Bottom line, the herbal laxative Cinna is a common remedy for constipation that is available over the counter. It can stimulate the nerves in your gut to speed up bowel movements. 6. Eat probiotic foods or take probiotic supplements Probiotics may help prevent chronic constipation. People who have chronic constipation have been shown to have an imbalance of bacteria in their gut. It's thought that probiotic foods could help improve this balance and prevent constipation. They could also help treat constipation by producing lactic acid and short-chain fatty acids. These may improve gut movements, making it easier to pass a stool. A recent review found that probiotics seem to treat functional constipation by increasing the frequency of bowel movements and improving stool consistency. To include probiotics in your diet, try eating probiotic-containing foods. Examples include yogurt, sauerkraut and kimchi, which contain live, friendly bacteria. Alternatively, you could try a probiotic supplement. It is usually recommended to take it daily for at least four weeks to see if it has any beneficial effects. Bottom line, probiotics may help treat chronic constipation. You can try eating probiotic foods or taking a supplement. Supplements should be taken daily for at least four weeks to see if they work. 7. Over-the-counter or prescription laxatives You can speak to your doctor or pharmacist about choosing an effective laxative. They may recommend one of the following types. Bulking agent, these are fiber-based laxatives used to increase the water content of your stool. Stool softener, stool softeners contain oils to soften the stools and ease their passage through the gut. Stimulant laxative, these stimulate the nerves in your gut to increase bowel movements. Osmotic laxative, osmotic laxatives soften your stool by pulling water from the surrounding tissues into your digestive system. However, most of these laxatives shouldn't be taken on a regular basis without first speaking to your doctor. Bottom line, try speaking with your doctor or pharmacist about an effective laxative. There are many types of laxatives that can work. 8. Try a low FODMAP diet Constipation can be a symptom of irritable bowel syndrome IBS. The low FODMAP diet is an elimination diet that's often used to treat IBS. It could be effective at treating your constipation if IBS is the cause. FODMAP stands for fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides and polyols. The diet involves limiting high FODMAP foods for a period of time before reintroducing them to determine which ones you can tolerate. However, if you have constipation predominant IBS, the low FODMAP diet alone is often not enough. You will probably need to pay attention to other aspects of your diet, such as getting enough water and fiber, to experience relief from your symptoms. Bottom line, if you have IBS, following a low FODMAP diet may help your constipation. 
however, that alone may not be sufficient to provide relief. 9. Eat shirataki noodles or take a glucomannan supplement Glucomannan is a type of soluble fiber. It has been shown to effectively treat constipation. One study in children found that 45% of those taking glucomannan experienced relief from severe constipation, compared to only 13% in the control group. However, another controlled study found no significant effects. As well as improving bowel movements, glucomannan has been shown to function as a prebiotic and improve the balance of good bacteria in your gut. If you're constipated, try including more glucomannan in your diet. You can achieve this by taking a glucomannan supplement or by eating shirataki noodles, which are made with glucomannan. Glucomannan supplements vary in their benefits by brand, so it is important to compare them before making a purchase. Bottom line, glucomannan may effectively treat constipation in some people. You can get it by supplementing with glucomannan or eating shirataki noodles. 10. Eat prebiotic foods Dietary fiber increases stool consistency and bulk, both of which can improve bowel movement frequency. Another way that some fibers may help treat chronic constipation is through their effects on your digestive health. Prebiotic fibers improve digestive health by feeding the friendly bacteria in your gut. This can improve the balance of your gut bacteria. In fact, prebiotics like galacto-oligosaccharides have been shown to help increase the frequency of bowel movements, as well as make stools softer. Foods that are high in prebiotic fiber include garlic, onions and bananas. Bottom line, foods that contain prebiotic fibers can improve your digestive health and the balance of friendly bacteria in your gut. This can often help relieve constipation. 11. Try Magnesium Citrate Taking magnesium citrate is a popular home remedy against constipation. It is a type of osmotic laxative that can be bought over the counter or online. 69. Taking moderate amounts of magnesium supplements can help relieve constipation. Higher doses are sometimes used to prep and clean out the bowel before surgery or other medical procedures. Bottom line, taking a magnesium citrate supplement can help against constipation. 12. Eat prunes Prunes and prune juice are often touted as nature's remedy for constipation, and for good reason. In addition to fiber, prunes contain the natural laxative sorbitol. This is a sugar alcohol that has a laxative effect. Studies have shown that prunes may be more effective than fiber. If you're constipated, prunes could be the easiest natural solution available. The effective dose is thought to be around 50 grams, about 7 medium-sized prunes, twice a day. However, you may want to avoid prunes if you have IBS, as sugar alcohols are known FODMAPs. Bottom line, prunes contain the sugar alcohol sorbitol, which has a laxative effect. Prunes can be a very effective remedy for constipation. 13. Try avoiding dairy in some circumstances, a dairy intolerance can cause constipation due to its effect on your gut movements. In some cases, children intolerant to cow's milk protein and adults with lactose intolerance may experience constipation. If you think that you may be intolerant to dairy, then you could try removing it from your diet temporarily to see if it improves your symptoms. Just make sure to replace the dairy in your diet with other calcium-rich foods. Bottom line, being intolerant to dairy or lactose may cause constipation in some people. If you suspect dairy is a problem, try removing it for a short period of time to see if that makes a difference. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe.